has endured for over half a century. America's Pride, the Chevrolet Corvette. This is a direct quote from the 2003 anniversary of Corvette. Corvette is an amazing sports car manufactured by General Motors under Chevrolet. Um, I myself am a Corvette driver and owner. I drive a 1984 Corvette. I'm currently in the process of restoring slash modifying. Um, I currently have rebuilt the entire engine, as I think I've stated before, with the help of my father and brother. I plan to restore and upgrade my car as time progresses, just as the Chevrolet Corvette has progressed over the years. Corvette was first born in Flint, Michigan in 1953. No other sports car has been manufactured nonstop for the last 59 years. And six generations, C1 through C6. C1s are from 1953 to 1962. All 300 of the 53 Corvettes that you saw on the first slide were hand-built by many and were the most sought after and rares. Second generation Corvettes were produced from 1963 to 1967. During this period, the first Corvette Stingray model was released. From 68 till 82 was the C3s. These are very popular among people restoring. During this time, uh, they continued to make Stingrays. And the last Stingray was actually made in 1982. Um, some enthusiasts may consider the 1983 the last Corvette of the C3 generation. But due to its limited production, um, it marks the beginning of the C4. <coughs> Due to the quality of issues and delay of parts, only 44 prototype 1983 Corvettes were produced. The model of the Corvette was never released to the public. All the prototypes were destroyed with the exception of one. It is now located in Bowling Green, Kentucky in the National Corvette Museum. Um, the, the car was um, first displayed at the um, manufacturer place for over a year before it was actually sent to the museum. And one of the slideshows I actually put on there was the last 83. Um, C4 Corvettes were produced from 84 to 96. That's the model I own. Um, the CR1, ZR1 model was released for the first time during this generation as well as a Grand Sport Edition. C4 vets were seen as relatively weak in comparison to all the other Corvettes because they went from having somewhere around 300 to 400 horsepower to 200 horsepower due to the admission regulations of the 80s. C5 Corvettes were released in 1997 and were produced until 2004. C5 Corvette had a top speed of 181 miles per hour, stock off the assembly line. There are views 100% improvement from the C4s. This information was provided thanks to James Sheffer from his book, All Corvettes Were Red, produced in 1998. The C5 Corvette had a brand new GM LS1 engine and was extremely lighter with better suspension. Uh, there was also been a uh, Chevrolet is currently producing C, C6, six generation Corvettes, which began in 2005. The most popular of the C6 are the Z06, as you see on the road today. There are also ZR1 and GS models that people really can't afford because they're in the hundred thousands. Um, there has been a lot of also talk about the Corvette Stingray concept car being released to the public. It was showed in the popular movie Transformers 2. It was one of the Autobots. Uh, according to Motor Trend Magazine, GM executives have been planning the next generation of Corvettes, the C7. And it was set to release in 2007, but was never released due to more admission control policies. It was going to release in 2007 to coincide with Chevrolet's 100th anniversary. In conclusion, the Chevrolet Corvette has held its ground in the sports car industry and has rose to meet any challenges faced over the last 59 years. The 
Corvette is and always will remain America's heart. Thank you.